Assalamu alaikum. Earning $10,000 a month by freelancing on ArtStation as a 2D or 3D artist must seem like a fantasy. Why? Well, it's 100% possible and definitely easier than a 9 to 5 job. Most digital artists usually underestimate the worth of their skills and art, working endlessly for companies who pay them maybe a few cents out of the profit they get. My main goal is to guide you on how you can be a 7 figure digital artist. Not only it will provide financial freedom but also brings peace of mind for you as you will only need to tackle the projects you like and work on your own pace. Let's talk about the first thing that most artists miss, the portfolio. Creating an amazing portfolio is the most important part if you want to grow as a brand. Your portfolio matters the most and it'll be the first thing clients gonna look at before hiring you. I would recommend sticking to a particular style, like maybe stylized or realistic, then practicing it as much as you can. Next, partially learn a few more art style so you can handle hybrid projects. And also remember, learning a few more skills outside the scope of your experience will be a plus. Let's say you are an environment artist, learning effects and maybe physics would add much more value to your skills. If you are not sure on how to organize your portfolio, don't worry, this is the thing every artist suffer from. You should start by filtering out 50% of your work, then from that, take out another 50%, then choose the best from that and add that into your portfolio. Add different type of projects you did, so all your skills will be demonstrated. If your portfolio is good enough, nobody can stop you from starting a business of your dream. Second thing I wanna talk about is approaching clients. The way you approach your clients is the most important factor and if you can master it, you can win absolutely any project. In the start of your cover letter, don't talk about your experience or past work. Start by explaining that you understand the client's problem and how you are going to solve it, what values you will provide that will put you above all artists, offer extra perks, good turnaround times, and if there's anything in the job you think you can't do, don't worry and just tackle the project. You'll always find a way to do it once you have the project in hand. Then start telling the client about your experience, your past work, the program you use, and your art style. Third thing I wanna talk about is client satisfaction. Trust me, don't do it just for money. Your main goal should be the client satisfaction because you will go through many difficult tasks but they'll polish your skills and will definitely make you a better artist. Not only that, but keep in mind that if your client is satisfied, your reputation in the market will likely increase along with the trust on you. Moving on to fourth point, don't be scared of failures. Even when you are designing something, it requires a lot of trials and errors before reaching the perfect results. So you can't always satisfy every client. If you make mistake and fail, learn from it. Learning from your failures is the real thing behind success. Lastly, I wanna talk about finding the right mentor. You'll always need the right mentor. Many people struggle for years and then eventually give up because they don't have someone to learn from. It's highly recommended to get a mentor who has already gone through what you are doing. I'm a professional 3D artist and I have mastered 2D stylized art too. If you want consultation, feel free to message me on my personal email Email, which is given in the description. Links to all my socials are given in the description too. You can support me on Patreon if you want secret tips. Thanks and Allah Hafiz.